breaking news in the search for Hollywood actress Naya Rivera. A body has just been found at Lake Piru. Sky 2 captured this footage about a half hour ago. A body brought from one of the search boats to the coroner's SUV. Dive teams have been searching Lake Piru since Thursday, a day after Naya Rivera vanished after boating with her four-year-old son. They use sonar equipment to scan the bottom of the lake in order to zero in on the body. And joining us live now on the phone is Captain Eric Bouchot of the Ventura County Sheriff's Department. Captain, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. And can you tell us what you know so far in this investigation? Yeah, so this has been a, a pretty exhaustive search with a lot of resources over a period of now. Today is day six. This all began, as you know, Wednesday afternoon. So this morning at about 10 after 9, one of our uh, boat crews out there on the lake discovered a body floating. This would have been at the kind of the northeast side of the lake, which is an area we suspected uh, she had been last seen. So um, the body has been recovered, and uh, the medical examiner is here, and uh, you know, we're hoping to uh, find out the identity and, and officially be able to uh, give you that information later. Captain, um, you, like you said, this has been a very exhausting um, search. What have been uh, the biggest challenges? We know the water's been really murky at some points. The dive teams just had to do a, a feeling grab search. Yeah, we know the area where the body was discovered uh, this morning has been extensively searched, both with sonar and with divers. But yeah, divers. When they were in that area the last few days, they were literally on their hands and knees crawling on the bottom of the lake, and they're tethered with ropes so they could find their way back because it, it was literally one of the divers referred to it as uh, searching by Braille. Visibility is so poor in this lake. And Captain Bouchot, we know a lot of people have been riveted by this story. Lots of her fans have been in mourning, just praying that there would be a body found, that there would be some kind of closure for the family. How has it been out there? Have you had to turn away people trying to participate in the search? What is the mood on the ground right now? You know, the mood on the ground, uh, I think, is uh, it's, it's particularly tough on the searchers. You know, we've got teams that have been out here for uh, for days, and uh, they put their heart and souls into this. Uh, it's physically and mentally exhausting. And, uh, you know, we all take this personally. We get heavily uh, we're in the business of saving people, and, and this is a situation where, unfortunately, it results in the uh, recovery of the body. And uh, it's tough on everyone, but uh, so obviously the people taking the hardest are her family. So we really, you know, we want to keep them in our thoughts, and uh, we're working with them. They, they're here on site. They've been notified, and uh, it's just really, really a tough time for them especially. Definitely. Um, thank you so much, Captain, um, for joining us. I know this has been a difficult six days, and we are expecting a press conference uh, later today. But as you said, you have been in contact with the family. Uh, could you tell us what that conversation was like or just the mood of that conversation? Um, I know we have seen uh, them out in that area. You know, it's it, it, emotional. Uh, uh, a, a little bit of relief as well, I think. Uh, as you can imagine, it's, it's been a roller coaster for them emotionally uh, every day since this happened. Uh, and uh, I, like I described it the other day, you know, these are tough because you don't know if you're going to find it for five days. And uh, it, it, it's, it makes it tough to plan because it, it, just the whole, the whole thing is, is tough. And for the family, unimaginable. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it.